Hi guys, this is Kalora Hudson of While They Play Designs, and on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the 2 over 2 LC. And if you look here at my work, this is just a four stitch cable where the first two stitches cross over the left and front of the last two stitches. So I'm going to show you how to do this cable with a cable needle and without. And I just have a DPN here that I'm using as my cable needle, and it's the same size as my working needles. And the first thing you'll do is slip the first two stitches of these four onto your cable needle, purlwise, and you'll hold those stitches to the front of your work, because you can see we cross them to the front, okay? And then you're gonna knit the last two stitches on your left-hand needle. So I'll pick up my working yarn, just letting that those first two stitches kind of dangle at the front of my work. I'm going to knit the third and fourth stitches. And now you can pick up the first two that are on the cable needle and knit right off the cable needle, or you can slip these stitches back onto your left hand needle, like so, pearlwise. So we're done with the cable needle. And now we can rotate our right hand needle to the front of our work and knit those stitches that we had on the cable needle. So we've completed the two over two LC cable. And now I'm going to show you how to create the same cable without the cable needle. It just goes by a little bit quicker for when you have a pattern that you're working where you have a lot of these cables in a row. So I'm going to work over to the cable placement. Okay, so we've worked over to where we're going to place our next 2 over 2 LC. Here are the four stitches where we're going to place our cable. And instead of using the cable needle, we're actually going to insert our right hand needle through the back legs of the third and fourth stitches, like so. And then we're going to grab the first and second stitches on our left hand needle. We're gonna pinch those and pop them off the needle, pull our left hand needle out, and then we're gonna pick them up again. And now rotate our work back and place these two stitches back on the left hand needle. And if you take a look here, we've created that two over two LC and we simply need to knit those stitches now. One, two, three, four. So we've created that cable without a cable needle. And I know I did that kind of fast, so I'm gonna show you guys that one more time. We'll work over to our next cable. Okay, so these are our four stitches that we're gonna be cabling. And again, just rotate your work so you can see straight down. Take your left hand needle tip and insert through the back legs of the third and fourth stitches. And then we're going to take the first two stitches and pinch those and pull out our left hand needle from all four stitches and then quickly come back to the front and pick those two stitches up again. So we'll pinch, pull out, and pick right back up, like so. So essentially it's as if we had those on a cable needle, but we just pulled out and picked them right back up again. Now we'll rotate and pick up these two stitches again. And that's the left-leaning cable that we've created. And we just need to knit those in their new orientation. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll take a look here. You can see we made the two over two, or yes, two over two, our, uh, left, two over two LC, excuse me, or left leaning cable. And we've made three of those. The first we used the cable needle, and then the second two we used uh, no cable needle. And you can see they all look identical. So this is a technique that will most likely help you uh, go a little bit faster in your work instead of having to stop and slip all your stitches onto your cable needle. So I hope that this technique helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.